Hi everybody, I'm Mark McIntosh, and you know, missing teeth not only have an impact on eating, they also can be a big embarrassment because of the big gaps they leave in our smiles. So if you've been told you need to have your teeth pulled, there are four important questions you need to be asking. And joining us today to answer those questions are Dr. Charles Barrett's, the senior doctor and owner of Barrett's Dental. He's been practicing dentistry here in Denver for more than 30 years. And Dr. Barrett's, thank you so much for being here. Nice Appreciate to see you, Mark. That. All right, so would saving my teeth be better than having them pulled? That, that seems an obvious question and answer, but that question well, gets asked it, a lot. You know what? The answer is, again, if, you, if your teeth are savable, in my opinion, your teeth are better off being saved. Okay. Uh, there are many teeth in day clinics out there that uh, recommend having all your teeth pulled, and sometimes those teeth can be saved. Uh, if you can save your teeth, in my opinion, it's a better option, mm -hmm. and we could piece in missing teeth to your existing teeth, but again, it's not always possible. Yeah. So I would have to say there are times where you can, where, where having your teeth pulled is better. It just depends on the individual, but if they can be saved, in the end, it's usually better to save them. Okay, so then now comes the next big question. If our teeth can't be saved, dentures or implants, which one? Well, that's an easy answer as well. <clears throat> if you're in a position to afford yourself dental implants and the cost of dental implants is significantly higher than just dentures, mm -hmm. then implants are implants. always okay. better. Okay. Uh, if, you're, if you can afford the dentures and can't afford to have your teeth replaced completely with implants, we can actually lock dentures in with implants, which is way better than a denture that is not not locked in with implants. Yeah, makes sense. So you get more stability, you get more confidence, they don't flop around at all. But one of the things that I need to talk about is the fact that there are dentures and there are dentures. Okay. And one of the things that is most important to recognize is that denture making is a craft as well as a science. All right. And it can involve art, the artistic ability of the dentist if they desire to put that artistic ability into creating a fabulous drop-dead gorgeous smile with the denture. It is possible for a denture to give somebody a complete and total smile makeover. You hear so much about cosmetic dentistry, but it's interesting how few cosmetic dentists actually do dentures. Dentures are actually the granddaddy of all the cosmetic procedures because wow. Way back in the 20s, when, an, when a movie actor needed cosmetic dentistry, one of the things that they would do is that they would have their teeth pulled and have dentures done. Come on. No, they, no. They I'm, would have their teeth pulled? Absolutely. Goalies used to the do that in The sacrifice of you know? being beautiful in, exactly, in Hollywood, huh? Exactly. But that, what, what you have to understand is wow. back then, they would handcraft the dentures, and so few people are having those dentures handcrafted. Mm -hmm. I do personally set the denture teeth in the individual smile, taking into consideration their eye color, their hair color, the, the shape of their face. The texture their, of their skin. The, their complexion, yeah, yes. Thank you. All of that is taken into yeah. consideration when we do a denture. Yeah. So consequently, when we do a denture, your smile comes out drop dead gorgeous. Yeah. And regardless of the option you choose, be it dentures, implant retained dentures, yeah or eliminating dentures completely by having your teeth in place with implants, one of the things that you're going to get at Barrett's Dental is a drop-dead gorgeous smile as a result of that. And that is the darn truth there. So you had mentioned this. So it sounds like at, at the high end, you're talking implants, and then at the low end, you're talking dentures. So talk about the cost difference. Well, very simply, to do, to do dentures the way that I do them in the custom way that I do them, or to do implants, it's going to, no matter what you choose, it's going to involve the cost of some kind of new car. Yeah. Okay. Um, it could be as low as a, let's say, new Kia, okay. bottom of the line Kia. Still okay. a new car, yeah. still runs really yeah. well, yeah. Yeah. And, and I promise that if you select the dentures, they're going to look great and function as good as a denture can function. Right. If you decide you want to have your teeth completely replaced with implants so that they don't come out of your mouth and work just like normal teeth, that could be the price of a top-of-the-line Lexus. Yeah, yeah. And it could even go higher than that depending on whether or not you need bone grafting or things like that. So there's mm -hmm. a significant investment either way. And 
if you're going to make that investment, you really should go someplace that's willing to talk to you mm -hmm. and explain your options to you before you make the investment. Yeah, and so I, I think here, we always talk about getting second opinions, but I think, especially with something like this, that is going to be a considerable financial investment. It is critical to get a second opinion. Well, not only because of the financial, yeah. yes, absolutely yeah. because yeah. of the financial impact yeah. of yeah. it. And yeah. I would tell you, go with your gut. Go yeah. with your gut. Yeah. Don't go strictly price here. This is something that you're going to have to live with for many, many, many years. And um, go with the person who you think is going to do the best job for the dollar. Mm -hmm. But particularly speaking, if you've been told to have your teeth pulled, I cannot stress enough that you should get a second opinion and make sure that they really do have to be pulled before you get it done. If you had problems with your legs and somebody said, well, we can't save them, and they didn't feel that bad to you, you would probably get another opinion before you chopped them <laughs> off at the knees. Yeah. So my point is, accept your teeth as body parts. Yes, maybe you made some mistakes mm -hmm. in the past. Forgive yourself. Mm -hmm. Forgive yourself for the mistakes you've made, but ultimately get information mm -hmm. from more than one source before you make a final decision. Yeah. And if you came to me first, I certainly would urge you to get an opinion somewhere else. Yeah. I'm very confident that I can take care of most of these situations, and I want my patients to be completely comfortable with the fact that when they invest their hard-earned dollars and their significant amount of time that's involved in it, that they are doing it in the right place with somebody who they trust. And I promise anybody watching that if you do place your trust in me, that trust and that confidence you placed in me is taken to heart and I would do my best to provide you with the smile you want and the ability to chew in the best way you possibly can. You know and realize that uh, to forgive yourself as you said and realize that here at Barrett's Dental there's a great hope for tomorrow for that million dollar smile that I think a lot of people have always wanted so thank you very much. Well Dr. thank you and I just want to say one more thing many people are afraid when they go to a dentist that they're going to get scolded for the fact that they've allowed themselves to get in the condition that they are in. No judgments. We make no judgments at Barrett's Dental. Yeah. We look at you as having a sick mouth, and we are here to make it better and make it beautiful. There you go. Thank you, doctor. Very My well pleasure. said. All right, for more information or if you'd like to schedule a free consultation, visit Barrett's Dental at denverdentist.com, or you can just call 303 872 63 87. Now we have to tell you, Barrett's Dental does not accept Medicare or Medicaid, but call the phone number right now, 303-872-6387.